The American Wood Council creates several documents that are used in timber design. In this video, we will discuss some of the important pages that can be found in the NDS supplement. That is the National Design Specification Supplement. First off, they provide some properties, uh, section properties in a table that are very useful. For example, if you go to a lumber yard and you see a two by four, you may want to know the section properties if you are going to design that type of member and see if it is strong enough. Uh, for example, if we look in this row here, we can see for a two by four that it has an area of 5.25 square inches, a section modulus of 3.06, inches cubed and that would be about the XX axis or the strong axis of bending. We also have the moment of inertia 5.359 for IXX and that has units of inches to the fourth. We also can see over here that it has the weight per foot for a 2x4 that has a density of 35 pounds per cubic foot. There are other densities here, but for timber design, it is very common for people to use 35 pounds per cubic foot for all wood members. Now, this, these section properties uh, are for sawn lumber. And that means that even though it says here that it's a two by four, that is just its nominal size. That means in name only. That means it's called a two by four, but really its dimensions are one and a half by three and a half. And so it's important to use the actual dimensions when calculating the section properties that you see here. So of course, two bys and four bys, which are very common uh, types of lumber used in construction can be found in this table. And when you're calculating uh, stresses and you need areas or section moduli or you're calculating deflections, this table is very useful because the information is already calculated and available for you to use. Now, sometimes the two by and four by members that are very common are not adequate. And so then there are other sizes which fall into the category of timbers. They are in the range of 5 inch by 5 inch and larger. Now of course that 5 by 5 size is a nominal size but uh, regardless uh, this is uh, you know sizes bigger than 5 by 5 are what we're talking about here. Now we also um, notice here that it says post and timber. So these are members that are square and they tend to be used for columns and they have their own category right here. Five by five all the way up to 24 by 24. We also have still in the timbers category, we have beams and stringers. And you can see here also that these are very big pieces of lumber. Six by 10 all the way up to 20 by 24. And again, they have all of the section properties here for you to make use of as you need. Let's now move on to some additional pages in the NDS supplement. We also have some section uh, properties that are listed for glue lamb beams. These can be found on page 17 in the NDS supplement. And here I just have one page. There are many other pages of glue lamb beam section properties. This page that I am showing here is for the Western species of glue lamb timber. 
and these would be the ones that you would use in the Western United States. And you can see here an example is a three and a half inch wide glue lamb beam that has um, some depths that vary between six and 24 inches. And of course, section properties that you can read out of the table. We also have here uh, a five and one eighth inch width type glue lamb beam. And that varies between six inches and 36 inches in depth. Now there are other glue lamb beam sizes, but this is just uh, a representative page. And obviously these uh, section properties are useful while doing your calculations. Now we also have a page here that I am showing you of adjustment factors. This is on page 32 in the NDS supplement. And I'm not going to spend too much time on this just now, but uh, these are adjustment factors that would be applicable for sawn lumber. We will talk about adjustment factors in a later video and discuss this page more at that time. This is on page 32 in the NDS supplement. Right after this page, there are some pages that start to show the tabulated values for design of timber that is two by and four by inches thick. And in the Western United States, it's very common to use the species of Douglas fir larch. And we can see that right here. And we can also see the different types of table stress values in the top portion of this table. And so if we were wanting to do a design and we were designing something for bending, we would need to know how to calculate the allowable stress. And we talked about that a little bit in a previous video. And we would need to find the FB table value. And so first, of course, we pick the species. And Douglas fir larch is very common. Typically, that's what we would use. And then you have to pick the grade of lumber that you're going to use. Now, in this case, let's look at Douglas fir larch number one. And if we go over here, we see that 1000 PSI is what we would use for F sub B, the bending stress from the table. This 1000 PSI value would then get adjusted by some adjustment factors. And uh, we'll see that uh, more as we have other videos. And of course, we mentioned that in a previous video that uh, this value gets adjusted. And finally, we end up with an allowable stress value. We also have values out of the table for tension, uh, shear, compression perpendicular to grain, and compression parallel to grain. We also have the modulus of elasticity for this Doug fir number one. We have over here 1.7 times 10 to the 6 PSI for the modulus of elasticity. We also have an E minimum value, but that E minimum value is not going to be used unless we are checking things associated with stability. We, um, so, so we don't need to be looking at E minimum for uh, most things. Uh, the modulus of elasticity that we have here is uh, going to be used uh, particularly for deflection calculations. Now, now that we've seen that table, let's move on to another table. That was on page 34 in the NDS supplement. Now here are here is another table of adjustment factors. These adjustment factors would be used for timbers. 
And that would be the situation where we are using the five by five or larger lumber. Um, and again, we will not discuss much about this just now. Uh, we might touch on that in a later video. But uh, the following pages after this, this being on page 46, will be the tables associated with uh, beams and stringers, posts and timbers, which is the five by five and larger pieces of lumber. And again, we would go down and look at Douglas fir larch. And we can see we have a variety of table values here, just like we saw for the two by and four by table of values. And if we're going to be designing sizes in the beams and stringers category, we would select the grade of lumber and we would use the appropriate row in this table and the appropriate stress type that we were looking for. If we are going to design uh, lumber that's in the posts and timbers category, then we would use the information in these rows here. Now, we certainly have other rows down here that say the same thing. They're just by a different grading agency. Um, but most of the time, just use this uh, right here, the first set of two uh, regions under Douglas fir larch. The last thing that I'm going to show you in this video is that we also have on page 65 some table values for glue lamb members. And we can, um, depending on the species, which here is Doug fir, Doug fir, which is what I would recommend for the Western states, these first two rows are the uh, grades and the species that are very common for structural engineers to use. And so we would read table values out of this for glue laminated timber. And it's just like the previous tables we've seen, there are values for bending stress, uh, compression perpendicular to grain, shear stress, uh, there's values for the modulus and tension stress and compression parallel to grain stress. And hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea about some of the useful pages in the NDS supplement. This is on page 65. Uh, we will probably see the use of these tables in later videos when we do some examples. But that is just an introduction and hopefully that is helpful to you.